Cats, it is Friday, March 18th. Welcome back to the vlog. Uh, if you are someone who who imbibes on St. Patrick's Day, I hope that you are feeling better now. I, I don't drink at all. I mean, I consume beverages, but they are not of an alcoholic nature. Like, I'm good with water and juice and soda. Sometimes some chai tea if I need a little bit of a caffeine pick-me-up. But for the most part, um, uh, yeah, I don't drink alcohol at all. So I've never had a hangover. But I hope that if you woke up with a hangover that you're feeling better now because it's 4 o'clock in the afternoon. And, and do those ever wear off by 4 o'clock in the afternoon? I, I don't know. I have, I have no frame of reference for this. Uh, in other news, I had heard there was going to be a blood drive in my neighborhood today, according to the Red Cross website. And so I worked and I worked and I ate and I ate a lot and then I ate a lot more because I wanted to gain some weight. And I weighed myself this morning thinking that today would be the day and I weighed in, according to We Fit, at 107 pounds, which is not quite the minimum weight requirement of 110. And I'm not going to lie to you, I was bummed. I was really, like, I, I may have kicked my We Fit board in frustration. Not hard, because I don't want to ruin it, but, but enough that it knew... I was I was irritated and it responded in kind with an ooh when I stepped on it again. What is that about? But yeah, so I was I was unhappy. I I really really want to give blood. It has been something that I have always wanted to do and I've never been able to do it because I have never weighed enough. And I know that there are going to be people out there who are going to be like, "Oh, poor you. You weigh so little. Do you know what it's like to try to lose weight?" And no, I don't. I I feel for you, but all I know is what it's like to try to gain weight and fail. So, I'm assuming that the frustration is on par. So I'm not trying to put down people who weigh over the minimum amount. Good for you. It means you can give blood. But I do not yet weigh that much, and I've been trying my whole life to get up there. And, and it's really frustrating when I worked so hard to try to finally meet that weight requirement, and I didn't. And it's frustrating. Sometimes it feels like there's a lot of stuff like that that, that other people get to take for granted that I can't do. Like, reach the top shelf in the grocery store, or give blood, like I've talked about, you know, or, or get an I voted sticker. I have voted in every election since I was 18, which is a few of them, and because Oregon votes as absentee, with absentee ballots, uh, we don't get I voted stickers, and I've always wanted an I voted sticker, and I've never ever gotten one, and that's kind of frustrating. There is something just not as, as good feeling when you vote about, you know, filling out your ballot at home and then dropping it at the library, as opposed to like waiting in line and going into the booth and getting to pull a lever and do your civic duty. I, I, I don't know. It's There are just a bunch of stuff like that. I know that I can't be the only one who feels this way, who feels like they are missing out on a fundamental... fundamental? Who are missing out on a fundamental part of life that other people get to take for granted. So, because Misery Love Company and because I know that I can't be alone in feeling like this about some things, what are the things that you get frustrated over? Things that you have always wanted to do that it feels like everybody else gets to do but you don't? Or things that you've wanted to try but for whatever reason can't? It's it's good to share these things because so often we don't talk about this stuff. We try to gloss over it like, oh, it's okay, it'll happen for me eventually. But sometimes it's really frustrating. With that, I'm gonna go. So I hope you have a good rest of your Friday. Leave your thoughts in the comments as always. I, I really value comments. I try to answer them all unless they're from a troll, in which case, bugger off. Uh, and I will talk to you all again tomorrow. Thanks as always for watching, everybody.